dream? What do you reckon it means? The grub. Well, I haven't done my dream analysis course yet, Perry, so I'd be making the meanings up. Have a go anyway. I don't know. Maybe the grub is something that you're worried about. Not that you've got anything to worry about. I mean, from where I'm standing, your life looks pretty peachy perfect to me. Doing well at school, surfing like a demon, a guy that digs you for the stuff in your head. Although I'm sure he's pretty keen on the stuff on the outside too. Ah! Like Edge is any different. Edge is definitely different. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Someone left a note for you under our door last night. And by the way, the envelope smells of bad aftershave. I'm guessing it was Matt. Uh, where is it? At home. I'll race you. <laughs> You reckon we're pretty good friends, Perry? Very good. Maybe even best. Why? Just thought I'd check before I demand to know what Romeo had to say. Oh, my feet must be rotting. He's not breaking up with you, is he? No. Well, what then? He wants to know what makes me tick. I want to know your dreams, your hopes, the deepest thoughts you have when you think no one is listening. Wow. Boy's got a bad. Well, smile, Perry. This is a good thing. This is like double peaches with sugar on top. Beck is right. There is no grub in my peach. I just need to stop looking for problems and appreciate what I've got. My life is cloud nine material. Great, yeah. Is he still there? I don't know. Let's go have a look. It's probably some old guy sleeping rough. They're around here all the time. Hey. I'm just being stupid. No. No. You just got a shock, that's all. Oh, no, no, no. This is not happening. Well, whoever it was, they're gone. You OK? I am. Um, I've got to go to the bathroom. Now you listen here, you weirdo. Whatever you think just happened, didn't happen, all right? You do not have a thing for Edge. He's not even your type, he's a caveman. And even if you did, and even if he weren't, He's your best friend's boyfriend. So enough with the crazy thinking, okay? Everything all right, Perry? Yeah. Everything's peachy. Read them and weep. What is a shabugle? <laughs> Nonsense is what it is. You can't make up words. What? I didn't make it up. It's a real word, as in the whole kit and shabugle. Caboodle is the word I think you're looking for, Heath. Kit and caboodle. Anyway, you missed a term for trying to cheat. You guys have no creative spirit, you know that? <laughs> I'm done. What have you lost? A ring. My parents gave it to me for Christmas. They'll freak if I've lost it. Are you sure you put it on? Yeah, I remember having it on after training. Well, maybe you lost it in the shed after you got that fright. Maybe. And oh, while well, I look for it in the morning, it's too dark now. Oh, you're just a bit nervy to go out in case Frankenstein's back for bed and breakfast, then. I'm not scared, Heath. I'll go with you. I've got a, um, a fin I need to change for the morning, so no worries. Well, could you maybe just look for it while you're out there? <laughs> Do I look like a servant? Whose go is it now? <laughs> wow. 
Whoa. You are wound up, aren't you? Sorry. Too easy. Oh, no. Whoa. Um... I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. It's cool. Don't worry about it. Um... Here. Thanks for your help. What do you think it means? A grub? Well, it seems pretty obvious, really. It's you, Perry. The grub is you. You are the grub. Hello, buddy. Hello. Hey, there you are. We're about to send out the search party. Did you find it? Find what? Your ring, the thing you went looking for. Oh, <laughs> yes. Thank you. Shorty. Here, have a seat. Smells great. Mm-mm. Looks good, eh? Oh, it tastes even better. Edge. Hey! <laughs> you know, someone put a lot of time and energy into inventing the fork. You might want to give it a go. <laughs> um, I don't feel very good. I think I'm gonna lie down. <laughs> we decided you were excused from this morning's run because you needed a good sleep. Are the roses from Matt? Guess again. Oh, no. You got some secret admirer you're not telling me about. Uh, uh, They're from me, you noodle. I went home this morning and the front garden's full of them. Thank you. They're beautiful. Well, come on. Get your skates on if you're going to make this training session with Deb. Then we'll see how we're all feeling. Uh, excuse me, Deb. Unless you plan on getting in here with us, I don't think you can use the word we. <laughs> She's not going to get in. She needs to stay out there so she can actually see our pain. Well, believe it or not, I'm not doing this for my own enjoyment. Yeah, yeah right. right. Now, if I just let go of the side of the pool, I could sink down and forget just how badly I've screwed everything up. You're not getting away with it that easily. You got that right. Hey. Hi. Um, I just wanted to say sorry again for what happened last night. Forget about it. And to check that's what we're doing. Forgetting about it. <laughs> what else will we be doing? Nothing. Right. Weird stuff happens. It's no big deal. You're not angry then? I mean, I kissed you. <laughs> I get angry about a lot of things, Perry, but kissing's not one of them, so don't fret. Yeah. Right. Beck! Beck, wait! If you keep following me, Perry, you'll be sorry. More trouble in paradise? Looks like it. Beck, 
She kissed me. I had nothing to do with it, I swear. I don't want to hear it. Was it good? The kiss? She was freaked out. It was nothing. Well, if it was so nothing, then you would have come inside and said, hey, Beck, the weirdest thing just happened. Perry just tried to kiss me. But you didn't do that. Instead, you and Perry worked out how to keep it a secret, and you don't keep secrets about things which are nothing. So, tomorrow's a free day. What excellent adventures can we get up to? Know what it is? I thought maybe we can sit and talk about why certain people aren't getting along with certain other people. Okay, or we could just, you know, hit some stuff together really hard. Seems like I haven't cooked enough. Here, Perry, why don't you take mine? Because you're really good at taking what's mine. If someone's hungry, feel free. Hey, do you know what's going on? I'm gonna eat outside. Are they having some sort of lover's tiff? I have no idea what's going on. Perry's been acting really weird since yesterday. Maybe she got in the middle of a fight or something. Maybe we all need to get out of here. Stop thinking about surfing for 10 seconds. Might work. Hey, have you guys been to Garrett Island? Uh, have you two got a sec? Yeah, sure, Beck. What is it? I want to change rooms. What for? Uh, just felt like a change. Well, what brought this on? I thought you and Perry were best mates. No reason, you know, just wanted to change. Did you speak to the other girls about it? Well, unless there's a big reason, I don't think it's right to upset the apple cart at this stage. I mean, there's only a few weeks left. It's like Central Station tonight. Come on in. You want to change rooms too? Is that what Beck was here for? Is there something going down that we should know about? Um, everyone's just a bit tense at the moment. We're probably all getting on each other's nerves. No, I'm not getting on anyone's nerves. But, um, the real reason that we are here is we thought it'd be good for morale if we spent some time doing something fun. You know, lighten the mood a little bit. Oh, yeah? Uh, have you been to Garrett Island? Well, it's just a few k's from the point, and we thought go have a barbie, maybe take the volleyball gear, be back before sunset. And you want to know if you can borrow the tinny to get there, right? We'll be the most responsible young people you can imagine. I just want you to know that that edge had nothing to do with it. It was all my fault. I'm so sorry, Beck. Do you think the fun will kick in soon? Oh, yeah, give it a week or two. This place will be rocking. Has anyone seen Perry? She was walking around those rocks. Someone needs to go and tell her lunch will be on soon. And I'm voting for you. Hey. Hi. 
you doing? Rehearsing a speech I'm going to make to you. I can't decide whether to give you the long version or the short one. Well, if it's a breaking up speech, I'd rather have the short one if that's all right. It's not a breaking up speech. But I'm pretty sure when I'm finished, you'll want to break up with me. I'm all ears. Ah, excellent timing. Where's he going? What happened, Perry? I told him. You told him what? That I kissed Edge. At least now this agro makes sense. He'll be back. You reckon? You guys back already? No, I decided not to go. Why is that? Not in the mood. Yeah, well, there's a bit of that going around. Not in the moodness. Why is Matt back so soon? Said he didn't want to go. Well, he was in the tinny when it left. I saw them all go. Oh, just, I don't know, maybe try holding it up. If I hold it up, I can't talk. What's the use of mobile phones anyway? They never work when you need them to. Come on, phone. I work with my telephone. So honest. Was it bad? Yeah, it was bad. Not as bad as you, but then again, maybe Matt's better at hiding his complete disgust. I'd be happy to take a list of demands. Cleaning your room for the rest of the year, walk naked down the main street, wear a bag on my head, whatever. But if there isn't anything I can do to get things back on track, I'd rather know because then I can stop hoping I can work out how to fix things. The bag on the head option sounds kind of interesting, for starters. I've got a signal. Oh, yes. Come on, come on, come on. Come Hi, on. Simo. It's yeah. Anna. We're um, kind of stuck. Perfect Saturday of our eye candy. Just a thing to take your mind off all your troubles, supposing you have any troubles, which I'm assuming you do, considering you left the others on an island to die a slow and painful death from starvation. I got a call from Anna. I'm gonna go back and get them. I just keep putting it off. Mate, just because you had a blue with one of them doesn't mean you can dump the rest of them in it. I'm happy to go and pick them up, unless you want to. I'd rather not. Okay. You stay here, chill out a bit. Thanks, sir. Mate, I don't know exactly what's happened, but don't be so quick to pull up the drawbridge. People do stupid things. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. Never been an argument yet that can't be sorted out. He's chilling out. I felt like coming for a spin. Look, guys, no one expects you to live like happy families. All right, but you do have to learn to get along. It's natural for emotions to run high from time to time. But you've got to remember, this is a competition. You let your emotions get the better of you, you can kiss your chances goodbye. But you can't run away from things either. No, you can sort them out responsibly. Now, if anyone's got a problem with that, this might not be such a bad place to spend the next month or so. Great. I love it when we all agree. Let's go home.
Well, I guess it's uh, chow time for this stinky bunny. You coming in? Am I invited in? Um, I'm not really sure you want to hear anything I have to say. But it'd be really good if you could hear me out. I've never really had a letter like the one you wrote. And the truth is, it did freak me out a bit. Because it made me realise that you really like me. And I don't know. The whole thing with Edge was just something that happened on the spur of the moment. I, mean, I was freaked out and he was there. We all do stupid things sometimes. Do you? Me especially. It's not the end of the world. You are amazing, man. And you're making me feel like I've just made the biggest blunder of my life. Do you think we could still be friends? I don't know. If we're friends, I'll probably still want to know all that stuff about you. What makes you tick? That sounds nice. So nice, in fact, I'm starting to wish we didn't have to split up at all. Who said anything about splitting up? How come you never offered me the bag and my head punishment as a way to get out of the doghouse? Too easy. Anyway, Simo made a pretty strong case as to why I should fast track things back to normal. Well, if we're broken up, I understand. But I just wish you'd given me a bit more warning because the last kiss I scored wasn't from you. I mean, if I had known what was going to happen, I would have given myself something much better to remember.